What's going on there guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Craft of War Tastes. And today we are digging into a beer from Plan B Farm Brewery out of Poughkeepsie, New York. This is their barn beer. Yeah, so super stoked to dive into this beer. Um, new brewery, I've never featured a beer from Plan B uh, on the channel before. And uh, just wanted to give a little background on these guys. So if you are not familiar with uh, Plan B Farm Brewery, uh, they are actually one of the first uh, breweries to open up utilizing the farm brewery license. Uh, that came out, I want to say, in 2014 or 2015 uh, in New York State. And basically the premise was uh, New York State allowed uh, this new license uh, or this new brewery of license to come into existence. Uh, and basically what brewers had to do was there is a cascading tier that they need to adhere to over time where uh, a percentage of all of the ingredients that they use to produce their beer come from New York State, so New York State sourced ingredients. Uh, and I believe in 2015 when the um, uh, license launched, and I hope I have the date right, I'm not 100% sure, uh, there was, you know, X percent of their overall, you know, production needed to utilize New York State ingredients. And pretty much every couple of years, uh, that percentage increases, right? So in the beginning, when the legislation actually launched <clears throat> and the brewery license was uh, created, it was pretty low. I think I was maybe 15 or 20 percent. And every couple of years, that percentage is going to go up eventually uh, until it reaches uh, 100 percent in totality. And so farm, uh, what you call plan B farm brewery is the brainchild of a gentleman by the name of Evan Watson and his wife, Emily. And uh, Evan actually was a musician uh, who was relatively decently accomplished. Uh, he actually uh, had a couple of albums out, uh, you know, pretty decent kind of touring career. He actually toured as an opening act for Def Leppard a number of years ago. Uh, he'd actually done some songwriting for Meatloaf. Um, but yeah, obviously the music business is super tough. Actually, he was even featured on an episode of The Voice. Uh, didn't actually make it further, but... Uh, he was on an episode of The Voice. Anyway, so the point is, is that the music business is extremely difficult. And so uh, he actually got a job uh, at Captain Lawrence Brewing Company in Elmsford, New York, uh, and kind of started working there kind of part time. And so, you know, his whole, you know, process of transitioning from musician to brewer and creating his own farm brewery or brewery rather was his plan B if his music career didn't work out. So. Uh, that's kind of the uh, genesis behind the Plan B name. And the reason why I know a whole lot about Plan B is because, full disclosure, Evan is a friend. Um, but amazingly, I have not had this beer um, that he calls barn beer. And pretty much the concept behind it was is that he just wanted to create a beer that was super easy drinking. Um, he actually just opened up uh, his basically new tasting room a number of months ago at the farm in Poughkeepsie and they're continuously cutting, uh, building out that farm and going to be offering a lot of different things. <clears throat> and he wanted just an easy kind of drinking beer to serve, crazily enough, in large mugs uh, at his tasting room, at his farm, at his brewery, and that's barn beer. All right, so like all of his beers, barn beer is a cool ship cooled 100% New York ingredient wild ale, wild ale brewed with pure intentions, aged in oak, and this is best paired with uh, best friends and belly laughs. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this guy. All right, so I'm going to pop a cap on this beer, pour it into a glass, take a look at the appearance, get the aroma, taste it, and then of course we're going to rate it. All right, I am using not proper my Suarez family brewery uh, glassware because I just think that glassware is pretty freaking badass. And holy shit, that looks pretty dirty though. <laughs> well, I might actually flip that out. Let's turn over and get ourselves something that's a little bit more clear and clean. Yeah. All right. No farmstead it is. All right, guys. Pop cap. That off. Pour it into the glass, and let's start that review. All right. All right. Get that lined up. All right. So beer pours an absolutely beautiful, extremely light kind of straw yellow color. I mean, it's borderline looking like lemonade right there. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, 
little to no kind of head to speak of. There's maybe just a little bit of kind of foam or kind of head lacing going on with these really huge kind of bubbles. The minute I pop that cap off, I'm just getting funk, man. I'm just getting a tremendous amount of kind of barnyard funk coming out of the nose. I mean, I don't even need to dip my nose into it. I'm going to in a second here, but man, that's aromatic from a just, you know, funky kind of barnyard, you know, kind of sour wild ale kind of vibe. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a little bit deeper over the one. Oh man. Yeah. So straight up out of the nose, there is again, barnyard kind of funk going on there. Um, but it's lending itself towards obvious tart and acidity out of the nose. And I'm not kidding you. I'm absolutely 100% getting a aroma of pickle juice. Like, I swear to God. <laughs> Literally, pickle juice. Now, I know he makes a beer called Pickle, if I'm not mistaken. And it's kind of meant to kind of mimic pickle juice a little bit. But yeah, there is legitimately an aroma of pickled um, and pickle juice coming out of this freaking beer, man. On top of that as well, obviously getting a lot of kind of lemony characteristics going on there as well. And call me crazy, but there's almost like a bouquet of almost like wild kind of flowers going on there. Like it literally smells like the mixture between like a meadow and a barn that houses animals and potentially some, uh, you know, uh, like farm produce or something like that mixed in with pickles. Crazy, 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 crazy complex. I don't think I mentioned previously, but this beer is actually super low in ABV. I want to say it's like four something. No, actually 5.5% ABV. The malt came from Germantown, New York. The hops are from Henrietta, New York. And the micro microflora is from Poughkeepsie, New York, obviously, where the, uh, where the brewery is and the farm is located. All right, let's dive into it and get ourselves a taste. Cheers. Oof. My God, it's tart. Yeah, so straight up on the taste, that tartness and that kind of acidity translates over into the taste. Um, yeah, it is legit straight freaking pickle juice, man. Like, I don't know what that is. I got to ask him to be perfectly honest with you. And I'm interested to kind of see if anybody else kind of got that off this freaking beer. But yeah, there is, it, it, it tastes like a mixture between, you know, lemonade with a bit of kind of pickle juice with a little barnyard kind of funk on the back end, um, which is a really interesting tasting note. And I can imagine if you're if you're watching this right now, you would immediately think that that doesn't taste that great, but it does freaking totally work. Like it is extremely refreshing. I'm going in for another taste. Yeah, I mean, it's refreshing. It's crisp. It's kind of clean. Um, in the world of kind of sours and kind of wild ales, you know, it works from that perspective. Um, you know, I, I, I know his intention was trying to make this kind of like that, you know, house kind of beer, you know, where you're kind of drinking large kind of quantities of it. And it's kind of that thing that just, you know, you can go up and just have a whole lot of this. It's not too high in ABV and just kind of sit back and relax and enjoy yourself. The tartness and the acidity going on here does not make me believe that I would be drinking a lot of this on a given day. It's not a crusher. Um, it's actually kind of, it's it's funny, the 375 milliliter bottles is actually probably pretty perfect for this freaking thing because it's super tart, it's lemony, it's pickly, it's got all those fun things going on. It's super, super complex. It's just kind of not one of those beers that I'm going to sit back and session at all. Um, and I think that was his intention, but... Yeah, I don't see it as being that, but it's pretty interesting, uh, and it's a freaking freaking cool beer, man. Like, I don't know if I've tasted anything quite like it in the past. Go back every one more taste, and I'm gonna rate it. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Uh, you know, again, you're gonna have to really like those flavors, right? You're gonna have to kind of like lemon forward, kind of, um, you know, super kind of tart, kind of acidic. Um, kind of fermented kind of vegetable like pickle thing kind of going on there. Like if those are your kind of flavors, you're going to love Plan B's uh, barn beer. So rating time. Man, what can I give this guy? Um, hmm. I think it's fun. I think it's a fun beer. And for me, I do like the flavor profiles of it. 
Um, I just don't know how many people may feel kind of the same way. It is out there. It's a little bit kind of different. Um, but to me, it's kind of tasty and it's unique in that way. So I'm going to kind of rate it how I kind of feel where it should be, which is what I usually do. And I'm going to put my friendship with Evan aside here. Um, I think it's a 3.85 cap beer. Yeah. It's a little bit under four caps, obviously, but it's just above like a 3.75, right? It sits kind of somewhere in there. I'm pretty comfortable with a 3.85 cap beer. Um, yeah, just kind of saying that, you know, a little below a four, a little above a 3.75. And obviously, you know, you're going to kind of need to be into this style in order to kind of sit back and enjoy this guy. Um, because I could also kind of see as it being a bit polarizing where if people aren't really kind of used to this. It may just seem a little too odd for some folks. All right. So that'll do it for this episode of the Craft of Four Tastes for the Plan B Farm Brewery Barn Beer coming in at 5.5%. ABV 100% New York State uh, brewed ingredients. That'll do it for this episode. Hope you join me again for another episode where I drink, I review, I rate, and then I repeat. Cheers, guys.